Happy Halloween, Christ 17 TV, baby. What a day we got today going on. We got the kids out here trick-or-treating. Be safe. All the kids be safe. All the parents, make sure that you know where your kids are today. It's a lot of crazy shit goes on Halloween day. So please, all the parents, be careful. Kids, be careful. Have a safe night. Well, let's get into it now. We got the World Series on Halloween in Philadelphia. I'm pretty sure the Fanatics going to go nuts out there, not to mention the crowd is going to be rocking. They're going to be dressed up in costumes. Oh, a World Series game on Halloween in Philadelphia. Man, I don't know if, if there's a better crowd behind their team in the playoffs than a Philadelphia Phillies crowd. Boy, they get loud, they get rowdy, and they talk a lot of shit. They're like the Bronx team. They talk a lot of shit to fucking fans, and they know they shit. So with that being said, we got Thor pitching game three tonight. Thor on Halloween. How convenient. Going up against McCullers. If you a gambling man, I take the Phillies at plus 115 tonight. I take them. I think they get McCullers out of there by the fifth inning. I, I think the crowd going to be rocking so much. It's going to be too much for him to handle on the mound as an opposing pitcher. Yeah, it's going to be rough out there. I I think he's out of there by like the fifth. And Thor, I, I think Thor's going to do his thing tonight. He ain't got his speed like he did at the Mets. Now he's got to pitch. He's got to pitch. He, he just can't blow you away with, with fastball after fastball. But I think the Phillies win this game. It'll be somewhere six to three, six to four, somewhere like that. I think they, I, I think the Phillies get on the board first instead of Houston putting up five like they did in game one. And then the Phillies have to fight back and crawl back and take that game into extras. And then JT with the game winning home run. Man, them fighting Phillies or something else. Don't count them out. They're the biggest underdog in World Series history, and that's why I'm going for the Phillies, and I can't stand Houston Astros. Only thing I do like is Dusty Baker. I said it once. I'll say it, I'll say it twice. I'll say it three times if it come to that. If they win, that's the only person I'll be happy to get a ring. Justin Verlander in game one, he was 0-6, and he stays 0-6. He had a five-run lead, and he couldn't he couldn't hang on. He couldn't go through five. He gave up five. And that was that. Still 0-6. Can't win a World Series game. And his next start might be his last one because that might be the one to clinch it for somebody. We're going to figure that out soon after game three tonight. We go to football too tonight. We got the um, Cleveland Browns, Cincinnati Bengals. Jamar Chase is out with a hip injury. They just put him on the IR. He's out from four to six weeks. Hopefully, it's only four because I got him on two of my fantasy teams, and he's tearing it up. So I really need him back soon before my fantasy damn playoffs. He's killing it. But I think Tyler Boyd Higgins going to step up big time. You got Joe Mixon in the backfield. He's going to get a lot of run, a lot of run, a lot of run. And I think Joe Cool is just going to be – too much Hunter Browns to handle. He's going to tear him up. He's probably going to throw for 300, two, three scores. He might even run one in because he's been he's been getting some yards on the ground too. So don't sleep on his legs. He's sneaky fast. But yeah, I like that. I like the Bengals to cover the three points. They got the two orange teams for Halloween like pumpkins. And I'm just, you know, it's just been good. It's just going to be a good old day. Football, World Series, candy handout for the kids. It's going to be a great night. Hectic night. A lot of stuff is going to be going crazy tonight. But, hey, everybody be safe. Like I said, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share this video, and leave a comment, please. And I also want to... Talk about them Philadelphia Eagles who won again. 
Now I'm going to say right now, Jalen Hurts is my MVP for this football year. So far is Jalen Hurts. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, yeah, they're there, but nobody expected the Philadelphia Eagles to be undefeated halfway through the year. Halfway through the damn year, the only undefeated team. Everybody's lost a game except them, and they ain't even been in no close games. It feels like they're blowing everybody out by double digits. They're covering the spread. So if you see a Philadelphia game, Take Philadelphia, money line, the spread, whatever. They are covering, and they're winning, and they keep winning, and I don't see them losing no time soon. They might think the Cowboys going to be has something for them. I don't think they will. I, I, I really don't think so. I think Philadelphia is the real deal. I think the only team that really can give them any kind of any trouble is the 49ers because that defense can get nasty, and that defense gets – to the quarterback. But Jalen Hurts, he's been tearing it up, man. He's looking look like an MVP since week one, and I don't see them going nowhere but up for the Super Bowl. To the Super Bowl, I, I think it's going to be between the Niners and Philadelphia. Sprinkle in the Vikings here. Sprinkle in the Cowboys and whoever else you want to do the Rams. But I don't see nobody in the NFC that could take out the Philadelphia Eagles and Jalen Hurts. That's a fact. He's my he's my MVP choice as of right now, and I don't think that's going to change. I don't see them losing no time soon. And psh, boy, oh boy, NFC is in trouble because that team is going to run through people in the playoffs. Now, I also like to touch on next week's game too, though. I'm not going to lie to you. This Georgia and Tennessee game is going to be bonkers out this world. So, Tennessee just beat Alabama last week. And it's been, a, it's been a long time since they, long, long time. So, now they're going to try to beat Georgia, which is the number one team. And I think Tennessee is going to find a way to beat Georgia and beat Alabama, and they will be number one after next week's poll. And my sleeper teams coming out of the college football thing right now, keep an eye on TCU. Keep an eye on TCU. And your boy, Jim Harbaugh, I think he finally has a team that's, that's ready to play for a championship. I think he's finally got a team that could play for a championship. But then you got the sleeper who ain't been there in a year or two because their program ain't been top notch like that we used to. Watch out for Clemson. Watch out for Clemson. They're playing lights out right now too. They are undefeated. They're right outside the top four. And once Michigan, Ohio State play and Georgia and, and Tennessee play, whoever loses that, Clemson's jumping them. They're going to jump them, and they're going to be in the top four for the playoffs. So my pick to win the whole thing, Tennessee's top, but watch Clemson. Don't be, don't be surprised if we get a Tennessee-Clemson matchup in the college football playoffs, which I think would be a hell of a, hell of a, hell of a, hell of a game. I ain't going to lie to you. That'd be a fucking matchup. Orange on orange. Just like the Bengals and Browns, but way better matchup. You see what I'm saying? So, just wanted to drop a few few jewels on you real quick, you know. And I'm going to go enjoy my Halloween. Have me a few drinks. Watch me a few different games. And check it out. So, my two bets for the day. Philadelphia Phillies money line. Plus 115, game three at home, and Thor is on the mound versus McCullers. Then we got Monday night football in Cleveland. Cincinnati's 0-8 in the last eight primetime games they've played on the road. So this is going to be their chance to break, break that against the lonely Cleveland Browns. And I think they, 
I think they're going to smoke the Cleveland Browns and get out of town. That's a fact. Joe Burrow too cool. Chase ain't there, but I think Tyler Boyd is going to have a huge, huge, huge night tonight with over 100 yards receiving with at least one touchdown, and that's that's a fact. I think the Bengals score over 30 points. I think the Browns be lucky to get to 17. So I, I'm thinking final score may be 30 to 17. Cincinnati wins the game easily, easily. So make sure if you're a gambling man, you take the minus three with the Cincinnati Bengals and you take the Phillies with the plus 115 on this Halloween special. Happy Halloween. Everybody have a safe, safe, safe night. Make sure that your kids get home safe. And please like, subscribe, and catch me on the flip side. Christ 17 TV. Catch you on the next one, player.